Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video is a special video because 343 announced new screenshots for Halo Infinite and it is beautiful. 343 did show off the new images on the previous blog post they made about a month ago but it wasn't something I was entirely uh you know it wasn't something entirely new so I wasn't really you know too interested in what I saw but here we are and 343 you know, showing us something completely new and it looks phenomenal. Before we jump in uh, right into the screenshots, I want to read some of the main things that were said on the uh, blog post. However, I don't want to go through all of the stuff that was said. Uh, you guys can, you know, read that for yourself. Um, I will leave the link in the description for you guys to read. We are here for the juicy stuff. Uh, so let's hop right into it. Uh, so one of the developers at T43 said, and I quote, as far as uh, our artistic goals for the campaign goes, we have focused on the uh, two key things legacy and simplicity when it comes to the visual experience we are building for legacy we really want players to feel like they are experiencing a game that they remember fondly halo combat evolve but with their modernized graphics of course yes that's what i love to hear you know people are really taking notes from halo uh, ce campaign um you know i really enjoyed playing the you know playing halo ce uh, you know 20 years on i still do uh, and halo infinite being very similar to the first game absolutely excites me and here they also mentioned about how the mission will play out again and i quote designing games for me is about crafting amazing experiences that pull you so far into the game you think about it even when you're not playing it's no surprise that uh, the silent cartographer from here to see is one mission is one mission that stands out clearly in my memory uh, this mission starts with the halo theme music playing as you fly lower over the ocean to an, to an island where you are seamlessly dropped off to clear the beach with a squad of marines. But wait, it gets better. Frohammer drops off a war talk. Uh, next thing I know, I'm driving around the, uh, you know, with a gunner in the back, uh, in the back, taking out enemies and uh, enemies as I drive around the island. <laughs> oh my god, this sounds just like from. Halo CE Sonic Cartographer, which blows my mind. Uh, I really can't wait to get my hands on this mission. Uh, I already have this crazy ima Im this imagination on how this would, you know, play out. You know, flying it over the ocean and then landing on the beach. It would look, it would just look so damn awesome. And hearing the Halo theme playing, my God, I'm getting Halo CE vibes here already. Uh, they were, they were also talked about you know the equipment uh, again i quote beyond the undeniable uh, fun of the grapple uh, shot uh, you can carry around uh, three uh, pieces of equipment with their own unique roles uh, and utility that they can quickly swap between at any time um not sure how i feel about this one uh, i just hope that all the equipment are, uh, the equipment are balanced and i hope this future isn't available in matchmaker where you hold three equipment uh but I think we'll be okay in the camping. I just hope the, uh, you know, I just hope equipment in the camping isn't too OP, where you can just like speed run the game. I feel like that will you know ruin the experience. But we we'll see how that turns out. Okay, now we are done reading the blog post. Let's move on to the exciting stuff of the new screenshots. Now here we see the first screenshot of Halo Infinite. Here uh, you see the war talk with the Marines in it, and this massive foreign structure looks like a curved bridge or something that you could probably drive on. And if you Look at the left, you can see uh, the ship, this giant ship, uh, it seems like some sort of a banished ship or something, I'm not sure, it could be a UNC ship, whatever. Uh, and if you look carefully, you can see the brute if you zoom in. Um, and guys, the visuals and the graphics, it looks so beautiful. Uh, you know, it, it's next gen, you know, this looks next gen. And, and, and keep in mind, this isn't a concept art, I would like to clarify you guys on that one. Uh, and this is this is all in work in progress. You know, you, you guys can see, you know, down below it says it's work in progress. But the next image we have here is a concept art. Um, there isn't really too much to look at here. Uh, all you can see the hologram of the, the set of Halo ring. Uh, if you guys don't notice, uh, this is the room where Eshram uh, was in, uh, where you saw Chief activating the button and you had a hologram of Eshram showing up in the gameplay demo. Uh, but still a pretty cool concept, uh, concept art nonetheless. Another concept image here, uh, here you can see a, a banished structure and you can see on the left and right down below there are two, sni uh, there are two sniper towers I believe uh, you can see. Uh, so again pretty cool image but there isn't really too much to look at here. I don't know what this structure is you know, is about, I don't know what it's, you know, what it's for. Maybe it, it could be for uh, you know, for prisoners that marines are kept in and you have to you know Maybe go rescue them, you know, maybe go rescue them. There might be a mission for that where you, you know, where you actually, you know, have to break in to uh, rescue those Marines. Uh, that would be pretty cool if we, if we have a, a mission like that. Now, here's my favorite image uh, out of all of them. 
this this is hidden right here like they did a amazing job on the foreigner structure it looks and feels like combat evolved uh, it looks so mysterious you know i said it before and i say again the graphics and the visual looks beautiful and this isn't a concept art you know this is in game uh, and it's still a work in progress again you can see it you know below uh, just look at the detail on the on those structures it looks it looks ancient you know when you look at Halo 4 and 5 uh, foreigner structures they look too clean and plain it felt like as if they are the, if they would you know never been around for a long time it, it, it's like it's recent you know uh, and it didn't really feel too mysterious uh, at all but this this does uh, look at the trees and the grass oh my god amazing uh, I just can't wait to explore these kind of locations uh, props to 343 for nailing this one uh, do keep in mind this is all in work in pro progress uh, so yeah th this could look you know a lot better you know uh, when the game launches again here is the same image but this time it's night and it looks really awesome uh, you can see the stars you know i just can't wait to, i just can't wait to see the day night cycle in this game it's going to be so beautiful i'm just going to be staring at the sun all day you know and enjoying that beautiful view uh, if we look carefully we, we can see a jackal on the right and a brute on the left and on the top uh, structure you, you, you know i think we could see two brutes uh and we and if we look at the bottom right here uh, we have some kind of i don't know what that is i think that's a lamp a uh, basically basically a light i don't know uh, i think the banished group you know set the lights around you know whenever it goes dark uh but yeah that looks pretty cool and the next awesome image we have here is the gameplay and they did a fantastic job on the sniper it's mixed between with the halo reach sniper and the halo 2 anniversary sniper uh, the scope is more on halo 2 anniversary which looks really dope and you can see the warthog in front of us uh, and if we look at the hood the radar on the bottom uh, left it looks quite different from what we saw last year gameplay and if we look at the bottom right uh, you can see you know the plasma grenade and the spiker grenade and here and here there seems to be a new banished weapon it seems like a sort of a banished you know pistol or something uh, and I noticed you don't see the grapple hook in this uh, last year gameplay you saw the grapple you saw the player was uh, using the grapple hook uh, but in this image here you don't see the grapple hook anywhere which means the grapple hook is going to be in some parts of missions uh, possibly um, you're not going to be carrying the grapple hook throughout the throughout in every mission uh, but overall this image looks you know beautiful lastly the next image we see here are the two banished banshees flying by and again you see the same ship uh, from the first image uh, we saw and here you see this massive structure uh, this looks like the the same structure that that was from the concept art we just saw uh, overall it's a good image uh, not too much to look at here uh, you know i don't want to exaggerate you know with this you know uh, but it's still a, a decent image you know still a very you know, cool view to look at okay guys i think that's it for today's video are you guys happy about how the game looks uh, you know i see a lot of people are still you know quite negative on how the game looks you know i, I saw some you know negative you know videos about it uh you know and comments on how the game doesn't even look like next gen uh, which i don't understand what they mean by that uh, these images look very beautiful uh, and it's still a work in progress that's what people you know you know are not you know are noticing uh anyways let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of these new screenshots i uh, would love to hear your thoughts uh down in the comments below uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave the like on the video and do follow us on twitch we literally stream halo on there every day and i'll see you spartans in the next video bye